All right, guys, how's it going? East Banglers out here. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys a fly time video. Now we've already got the uh, already got the jig in the vise, and we're using a quarter ounce ball head jig. We've got a uh, collar here on it, and or a barb. I'm sorry, and we've already done a very light thread wrap, maybe about eight, ten thread wraps around the collar. We're just going to show you basically how to create a jig. Very simple. A lot of people overcomplicate it. We're going to wrap this, which is actually just a half. So. This right here is 20 strands, but it's a half. And we're just gonna wrap it around. Okay. Gonna distribute it evenly, pinch it on the bottom, pull it down on the sides. And at this point, you know, wrap. Now when you wrap, you wanna wrap as tight as you possibly can, as close to the top of the ball head as possible okay if the wrap doesn't go just the way you want it and you don't feel it going just the way going you know getting in that same groove over and over you know unwrap take your time just for a few seconds there getting it okay now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna Take our fingers and we'll go ahead and we're just gonna one time give it a cinch. Oh, two times with the cinch. If something gets caught, I'll just pull it out. But three times on that cinch. And we're gonna go ahead and do a few more. Now, right now, a lot of people, they tie their jigs with cheap thread, thread that you can basically find in sewing boxes and stuff like that used for embroidery and sewing, basically. Um, I don't like to do that. I like to use, this is a 80. So this is 80 denier um, uni thread. You know, it's, you know, I like, I prefer a hundred to 140, but this, this does just, just as good for me. And I'm going to show you guys after I wrap that real tight, real good. I've got this. Now this is just half of, uh, they sell these tabs. Go on fishingskirts.com and get these tabs. You're just going to cut that off. And, uh, now gonna basically pull out these uh you know rubber legs you're gonna make them you're gonna basically spend a few seconds making these rubber legs uh it's evenly spread out okay you're gonna double check everything you're gonna flip it over i'm gonna see right now there's a small gap which there usually is and I'm gonna take this little half strip. It's a half strip, but it's just a real thin strip for this particular situation. And we're just gonna flip it over. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna be very careful to, to lay this flat like, and then very careful when we get this thread going in that same We want to go in that same groove. And the first few are always a bit more difficult on the groove. But it looks good. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in that groove very carefully. We're gonna cinch it. Cut this, spread out those, take a gander at uh, your jig one more time. And then give it a couple extra wraps cinch it up so we've already got this you know uh trimmed out into small portions and sections and then that way what we have here is an absolutely gorgeous finesse jig you know this was custom made by me the jig uh the paint job skirts off fishing skirts.com living image rubber it's one of the better ones that you can get and uh let's get you a uh close-up here of this jig i mean it looks sweet and uh it's got a lot of color in it because i got these uh see all that color it's got real good and then uh, the head's got a real nice paint job. And the collar is extremely, um, well, nearly invisible. I mean, it's there, but you guys can see me pulling the thread around. You can't even see it. Can't really see much of that thread. And that's the reason I like to go with that smaller you know, 80, 100, 140, well, 140 is going to be thicker, but I like to do that instead of use a lot of that, instead of using a lot of that embroidery thread and all that, because that stuff's just not as good. And, uh, yeah, I hope this video helps you guys tie up some jigs and get ready. A lot of people spend a lot of money making a jig. They're not, not worth, uh, spending all that money. Just tie some up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.